Greetings. In this video, we're going to look at Prelude in C major on page 33 of the Christopher Parkening Classical Guitar Method, Volume 1. This is another piece, just like the preceding piece, that we can deconstruct it. What I mean by deconstructing it is making it simpler and breaking it into smaller parts. And once we've mastered those parts, it's going to be much easier to play the piece as written in a more complex form. It's kind of a mouthful, but let's, let's look at what that means. The first four notes are this grouping. It's three different notes, but it's played with four attacks. The lowest note, middle note, highest note, back to the middle note. It's a little picking pattern. Let's go ahead and look at that picking pattern first. This is a great way to de deconstruct it. So we're going to take our left ha hand out entirely and just play P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I. If it's not easy for you to do this, then I would encourage you to practice this level of the piece before we advance to including the left hand and making things more complicated. So master that. If you're bumping other strings, then experiment with your hand position. Try moving closer to the strings. Find that point where you can't stay any closer without buzzing and bumping the strings accidentally. And I would encourage you to even try just clicking your next finger into the string. What I mean by that is that as I pick with my thumb, my index finger is going to land on the string. Then I pick that string, and as I do that, my middle finger clicks down. It's kind of like a bicycle pedal. One goes down, the other one goes up. So I alternate, 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 alternate. If you can get that snap, then when you just kind of let go and play the piece more quickly and let it flow, it's going to be a lot easier. It just programs your brain to anticipate that next movement, which is very useful. So that's the right hand fingering picking pattern. Now let's look at what the left hand does. But instead of including this picking pattern, we're just going to play a little what I call block chords. So I'm going to play all three notes at once. The first four notes make up this three note chord, G, C, E. The next grouping, which is stemmed together, was a stem that crosses four eighth notes, makes this grouping, A, C, E. And if you look at these two groupings, the first grouping has only one finger different from the second. Once you recognize that, you don't have to let go of that index finger to go from here to here and back. So only one finger needs to move. Get your hand used to that and get your brain used to just, okay, guitar is going to have some weird chords where I have fingers overlapping and it's going to be a lot easier if I just keep those fingers down but that takes more finger independence and a lot of deliberate control. So we need to get used to that. And this is a great exercise in which to do that because a lot of these chords, only one finger needs to move. Let's see how this goes. The first grouping, we have this GCE. The next grouping, we place our middle finger to grab that A, and then we go back to the first grouping, and then we go on to the second grouping again. Now the fifth grouping we're going to see, the beginning of measure three, we're going to take our index finger and pop it up to F. And again, it's just one finger moving. Now here, again, one finger moving back to the beginning of the second system. So all of these chords, only one finger changes except the bridge between the sixth measure and the seventh measure. So we have this little A minor chord, A, C, E at the end of the sixth measure. If you don't have the measure numbers, you could write them in. It'll be easier to follow along. So sixth measure, second grouping, we have this A, C, E, and then we let go of those two and drop our pinky. If your pinky is very close to the string and coming in at the right angle, it's gonna be hard to miss. Then we switch to F and then we drop that finger. Here's what the whole thing sounds like with block chords. There you have it. If it's easy for you to do that, and it's easy for you to do that picking pattern, then putting it all together will be a cinch.
was playing that with a feel of cut time or playing it in two. Bum, 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 bum. If we play it in four, it's going to have more of a pulse like this. So I would encourage you to try playing it in different meters. But that's Prelude in C major. It's a great example of how we can deconstruct a piece. In this case, we can take the right hand fingering by itself, and then we can take the note groupings and play them by themselves. And once those are both easy, you put them together, and it's going to be moderately difficult at first, but then that becomes easy quickly. If we just try to read the notes straight through from the get-go, it can be quite challenging. So if you're struggling with that, then take a step back, deconstruct, and follow along with what I did. I know I rushed through some of those parts a little bit, but the only way to really learn this is to do the work yourself as well. You need to follow along and really participate. And if you do that, you'll find out that this method really works. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this is helpful.